there have been 851 episodes of Doctor Who broadcast to date. Our mission? For every single one, say something nice. Hello dear viewers and welcome back to another episode of Say Something Nice. We're jumping back another 20 years in time, it's The Smugglers, episode 2. Now for this episode I've chosen a sequence which shows the smarts of Ben and Polly. I think part of the reason that Ben and Polly are so underrated is that a lot of their material is missing. But thankfully, many of their stories have now been completed with animation. The Tenth Planet, Power of the Daleks, the Moon Base, the Macra Terra, and the Faceless Ones has just come out as well. Although they get... <laughs> they don't get too much to do with the Faceless Ones, despite it being their finale story. But this is only their second story. They were introduced in the War Games. This is their first trip in time and space. What I'm choosing is how Ben and Polly escape from their locked cell. Now, there's this poor lad called Tom, who is a bit superstitious and is kind of guarding Ben and Polly. Polly realises that in this day and age that they're in, people believed in the power of witchcraft and dark magic, and she decides to use that against Tom. They make a straw doll, which they say that the Doctor has created in Tom's image. And if Tom doesn't let them go, then they are going to do things to the doll which will hurt Tom. What I like so much about this is they don't use physical force against Tom. It's all psychological, and in the end, Tom comes to no real harm, but Ben and Polly are free anyway. It's not so much that they're pointing and laughing at history, they're just using their knowledge of history to their own advantage. It also brings to mind the very first Doctor Who story where Ian, Susan, Barbara and the Doctor manage to fool the cave people with a similarly superstitious image of the burning skulls. Now, I think it's actually more effective here. It's played a bit more for comedy here because of the situation. It's less of a life-threatening situation. It's interesting to note that these two new companions prove their worth in a similar way to the first set of companions. I don't think it was a deliberate conscious decision. Really no one who had worked on the show in the Hartnell era was still around, maybe some directors, but certainly no producers, no script editors, they'd all moved on. But certainly Ben and Polly's calm heads and ingenuity are something really nice about The Smugglers Episode 2. But until I see you in another video, stay safe, remember to wash your hands, and thank you so much for watching.